this morning. Tomorrow, the Huskers volleyball team plays in the Final Four in Kansas City. Nebraska is a national powerhouse. The Omaha World Herald's Dirk Chatelaine has traced the state's volleyball history back to small towns like Peru, Murdoch, and Schubert. This afternoon, he stopped by our studios for an interview. We found the first Nebraska team to compete against outside colleges uh, and the first one to play in a national tournament down in 1971 in Kansas. And then we went back even further than that and uh, got into sort of the high school culture back in the 40s and 50s, uh, focusing on this uh, high school tournament in Peru, Nebraska. And you brought uh, some longtime volleyball players from many, many years ago together and brought them all to the Devaney Center? We did. Uh, we got five members of uh, the earliest Nebraska volleyball team that played outside colleges, 1967, 50 years ago this month. And uh, we got them together and brought them to the Devaney Center. They didn't play in front of uh, big crowds back then, so it was kind of a thrill for them to, to walk around the Devaney Center when it was empty like that, uh, look up into the rafters, see all the banners, uh, it was kind of a thrill. Yeah, I, I'll walk back uh, down memory lane for them. Uh, we're seeing the video right here. What did you learn along the way about uh, Nebraska volleyball history as it uh, links to today's championship type teams? Well, I learned that there's a, there's a forgotten era of Nebraska volleyball, uh, not just before Title IX, but like I said, all the way back to uh, in, into the, to the mid-1900s where Girls were playing in high schools in really small towns back in the day before they were ever playing in Omaha and Lincoln. And get this, Dirk also uncovered that high school volleyball really took off in our state in the 1920s after officials banned girls basketball, claiming it was too rough. Read the story in the Omaha World Herald. A big